Pastor, and good afternoon, everyone. Today, my topic would be about dreams. Everyone do dream, but uh, some people don't realize that they are dreaming. So before I start my presentation, I would like to talk about the stages of sleep. There are five stages of sleep, which is the stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, and the REM sleep. The stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four is also known as NREM, which is non-rapid eye movement sleep. Uh, this whole prof this whole stages is done in one sleep cycle. Oh, one sleep cycle consists of 90 minutes. So after every cycle. After every sleep cycle, you would repeat this step again and again. So, since we sleep at like eight hours per day, there are like seven to six times we repeat all these stages. Since uh, rapid uh, dream is mainly dream always happen during the REM sleep. During the NREM sleep, it is also found, they are also found, we dream too, but in non-rapid eye, mo non eye, non eye movement sleep. But <coughs> we don't dream too often, in, like when we are at, at REM sleep. <coughs> so we are going to focus on during rapid eye movement. The rapid eye movement sleep, sleep comes from uh, when we when we sleep, our eyes are parallel. Our eyes keep moving. Therefore, it is called rapid eye movement sleep. During REM sleep, most of our muscles are paralyzed and homeostasis is suspended. As in, uh, our blood regulation is not controlled. Our breathing rate increased and etc. This will cause the person to experience vivid dreaming. REM sleep is turned on by the neurotransmitter acetylcholine and some of the neurotransmitters are inhibited. During, it is found that during REM sleep, our mind is conscious like when we are awake. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Di sini ada satu makluman diminta kepada semua MPP dan pihak lelaki supaya dapat datang ke kantin sekarang juga. Saya ulangi diminta kepada semua lelaki PR dan MPP supaya dapat datang ke kantin sekarang juga. Sekian terima kasih. So, how we dream? The reasoning behind dreaming is that when we sleep, there is an electrical impulse that sends into the brain and it generates visual images. During sleep, since there are waves, there are electrical impulses sent into the brain, the neurons send random and many electrical impulses which causes the forebrain to create a story in, a, in an attempt to make to make sense of the nonsensical sensory information presented to it. The region of the brain which is responsible for logic and planning uh, is stopped. Therefore, most of our dreams, th that is why our dreams are not very logic and it is, uh, it defies logic. <laughs> so, function of dreams. Actually, there's, there's no definite function of dreams, but here are some of the theories that suggest why dreams occur. One is simulation. Second is reliving experiences and refining and improving memories. Simulation occurs because... Uh, <coughs> simulation, I will talk about it next, during the next slide. 
So, nightmares. Simulation nightmares act as a simulation for us to. Uh, it acts as a simulation. Nightmares act as a simulation so that we can learn how to cope with real life uh, dangers. For example, if you are being, uh, if you are trying to be, if you are, if you are going to be killed by someone and you dream about it, you learn how to cope with that. Uh, you learn how to cope with that situation, and then it will. It will teach you something so that you can learn inside the so you can learn when the real situation occurs. Causes of nightmares are stress, traumas, sleep, deprivation, medication, substance abuse, abuse, scary books and movies. The reason why scary books and movies uh, causes nightmare is because when we think about it a lot, we if our brain memorizes it and then it uh, it is being it is uh, it is interpreted interpret this into our mind and it is formed inside the dream. Right? as I said before, nightmare could do could be could be as a simulation purpose, so it's very beneficial. Nightmare act as the as the brain's way of focusing a person's attention on issues. So, controlling dreams. Is there such a way to control dreams? Yes. Yes. Do you guys know what? It is. No. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Like lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming is a conscious process. There are higher amount of brainwave activities caused by integration of sensory information. Lucid dreaming. The definition is you realize that you are dreaming while inside the dream. <laughs> when something is recognized, as, what I meant by recognize is a sleeping pattern which you find inside the dream, and you re you realize that uh, that the areas in the brain which work with memory will be activated. So, how to do with a lucid dream? One, do a reality test. For example, uh, it is found that 75% uh, 75 of the time when we look at our watch and then we try to memorize what we try to memorize the time, uh, there's there's a chance that we there's a 75% chance that we will we would find this sleeping pattern inside our dream and then we only need to realize about it. And if we look again and we memorize another time, there's a 95% chance that we could do lucid dreaming. Because uh, when, we, when we memorize our time, inside the dream, we would, we would uh, if we think about watching our watch, 95% uh, of the time, the the watch will show a different number which are non-logical. Therefore, we could read as this sleeping pattern. Two is imagine that your surroundings are a dream. Three, and visualize yourself enjoying a dream activity. Does this ever occur to you? <laughs> this is called sleep paralysis. During sleep paralysis, our body paralyzes itself to to prevent from the physical body from moving. Because uh, when we dream, 
we think about uh, we are exploring the world, we are moving around. That's why uh, the body paralyzes itself. This is because of uh, the the secretion of the secretion of acetylcholine. <laughs> the secretion of acetylcholine, which paralyzes our body. This sleep paralysis occurs when the brain is awake, but our body is in sleep state. As I said before, uh, we change our stages of sleep because everyone's sleep cycle is <coughs> everyone's sleep cycle is 90 minutes. So after 90 minutes, our REM our our REM sleep state turns into stage one. So if we if we woke up right before when we enter the REM sleep, uh, the body the body is paralyzed. However, our mind is awake. Hallucination may occur in the state, especially involving auditory. So that's all for me. Thank you.
there is no definite, I don't think there is a definite uh, why does that happen. Uh, is, there, uh, is there a way that we can ensure that uh, we have a happy dream instead of a nightmare? Uh, so, as I said before, when uh, our nightmares is because we tend to think about it a lot. So, if we try to think about happy memories right before we are sleeping, then maybe we could do happy some happy dream. Recalling dreams or recalling good dreams? Good dreams. So, right after when we woke up, so we dream during the REM, REM sleep. We dream during REM sleep. So, when we woke up after the REM sleep, try to write all of the dream inside the journal. that there there is five stages of sleeping yeah. what do we what do we actually do during the first four stages uh, during the first four stages of sleeping uh, there are different kinds of activity as in our body is doing different kind of thing, things during the four stages that is different from the <coughs> RNA Uh, 
like the person <coughs> like for example during stage one is where when we start we begin to sleep and then during stage two, during stage four our body is starting our body is starting to change from stage four into our end sleep so maybe we uh, started to reduce the it we reduce the uh, we started to inhibit the neurotransmitter and secrete the acetal okay, uh, I accept that but uh, how how do they monitor the brain? Uh, what kind of for 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 the stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four, there are different brain 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 waves activity. So they use the electro <laughs> the EEG this equipment. I don't know what's the name, but it is short form for EEG. It connects to the brain and it detects the brain. Can brain predict the I mean can dreams predict the future? <laughs> <laughs> what? Can dreams predict the future? Uh, like the deja vu. So, so I don't think deja vu is just a natural phenomenon, so I don't know much about predicting the future. <laughs> Is this thing about dream? I mean, the stages in the thing. Is it a fact or a theory? If it is a fact, how much? How, how many percent that it is true and it is a theory? Can you repeat? I mean, uh, is this thing about dream that the stages in the thing? Is it a fact or a theory? If it is a theory, how many percent that it is true? So the thing about lucid dreaming and gaming, it is all real because everyone experiences. Everyone experiences. Even lucid dreaming, they are they are still trying to learn about lucid dreaming right now. They are experimenting to learn to know how we could achieve lucid dreaming. Do we dream every time we sleep? Uh, do we dream every time we sleep? Yes. Uh, sometimes uh, when we sleep, sleep uh, the reason why we think, there are some people who think that they are not dreaming. However, we are actually dreaming, but we are in, we are in a deep sleep. That's why we can't remember anything. Therefore, during dreams, 
the the non self the not important things are being removed and the non important things are being removed and the important things are being put inside our long term. of the future for how science will be developed. Anything can happen. <laughs> that is all from me and Naziha. Thank you for coming. 